A little over one year ago, on December 27th, 2020, I uploaded this video. In that video, I designed the frame for a project that I'd planned to build in survival shortly thereafter. I'd originally come up with the idea some weeks before the first video, in which I began executing my plan, but due to travel delays and other projects, my plans were put on the back burner for a bit. But what even were my plans? Well, at the time of making the first video on the subject, my plan was to construct a one-third scale Venator class Star Destroyer from Star Wars in Minecraft. Survival Minecraft, to be specific. You see, at this time, I had just recently come off finishing a large survival megabase, and I was in the market for a new project. This comment here, along with my previous experience in ship replication, pretty much sums up the reasoning behind my decision to select the Venator as my next megabase project. On January 3rd, 2020, I joined the server that I planned to construct the megabase on. Obviously I couldn't build immediately, as I first had to gather resources, which gave me time to finish designing the frame of the Venator in my creative world. A few weeks later, the frame was complete, and I was ready to begin building. January 26th saw the first stream of several dozen working on building the exterior of the Venator over the next few months. By April of 2021, the exterior was about 70% complete, but this is where the story starts to get weird. Due to an unfortunate combination of outside IRL events, work on the Megabase was halted for multiple months. During that time, the server ended, and I received world download that would later prove essential in furthering the project. By the time July arrived, I knew that I'd once again be traveling in the next few weeks and YouTube related work would become significantly more difficult for a time. So I made the decision. I was going to finish the Venator. On July 17th, 2021, the Venator was complete, or at least the exterior was. The final 30% of the design process was finished in creative mode on the world download of the server I'd received earlier in the year. This is the point at which some of you who aren't familiar with recent events here on the channel are probably thinking that the Vendor project ended. I had built a one-third scale Vendor in Minecraft mostly in survival and the outside was finished. Surely I'd be satisfied and begin the next project, right? Wrong. You see, one week prior to finishing the Vendor, I had joined a server by the name of Scarworld. Actually, it's good times for Scar's patron SMP server. And what did I do on Scarworld? Well, some of you have probably already guessed it if you haven't already seen the videos. I gathered 150,000 blocks to rebuild the Venator on Scarworld, in survival. All in survival. When I began this project, I set myself and my viewers the goal of building the Venator in survival and I wasn't going to abandon my goal that easily. A mere two and a half weeks later, I had rebuilt the entire exterior of the ship. The process was sped up considerably because all I was doing was following a schematic of the build, so once I had all the resources, it was basically just like building a Lego set from an instruction book. I knew I wouldn't feel satisfied with the build until I had some form of finished interior, so I began work on the inside straight away after the completion of the exterior. By late November, I was able to resume streaming, and after a lot of off-camera work and 10 more Venator building streams, I finished the ship. The specs of the finished Venator are 379 blocks in length, 183 blocks in width, and 89 blocks in height. The total block count ended up being around 226,000 blocks once the interior was complete, 150,000 without the inside. The vendor also boasts numerous practical features, namely four working hangar doors, all controlled from one point, one top and bottom door, and two side doors, toggleable hangar water shields, five multi-floor selection elevators, a three-floor item sorting system, and a random sugarcane farm for some reason. Despite the project taking much longer than I anticipated, I'm really glad that I decided to finish it, and I'd like to give a big shout out to all of the viewers who stuck around for the videos and streams of the build over the last year. Your support means a lot. If you're interested in checking out the Venator for yourself, you can join my patron down in the description below and get access to schematics of the build. By the time you see this video, I will already have begun my new streaming series, 1.18 Hardcore. That is where I'll be working on future survival projects, this time over at twitch.tv slash speevyt. I'd recommend going and giving me a follow over on Twitch if you'd like to catch future streams as I'll no longer be streaming on YouTube. Of course, I will continue to upload here though. If you're new to the channel and want to see more of the Vendor Project, there are numerous videos and streams you can check out from the playlist in the description. But if you just want a shortened summary, this montage will be perfect for you.
me, protects my heart.